Just as all vertebrates have a shared architecture in their forelimbs, all vertebrates, regardless of whether you're a chicken, a bat, a snake, or a human, all go through the exact same stages of early embryonic development. All vertebrate species during early embryonic development develop a post-anal tail here, 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 as well as pharyngeal gill pouches or gill slits shown here, 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 and so on. So these go on to form gills in bony fish and the jaw and the inner ear in terrestrial animals. Is this coincidence? All these vertebrates going through the exact same stages of development? No, once again, this is evidence, evidence of shared ancestry. These embryos look so similar, you probably can't even tell which one is a human. So go ahead, take a guess. Most students think it's number two here uh, because of the large skull. Okay, what about now? <laughs> Clearly not number one, right? That snake is certainly beginning to differentiate from the other lineages in its development at this point. One more. Humans, right here. Just like bats, cats, possums, chickens, and snakes, all vertebrates go through the exact same stages of early embryonic development, including developing a post-anal tail and pharyngeal gill pouches.